What's going on guys? It is TJ back again with another video, another episode of Mons Camp. And um, just in the background guys, I actually just wanted to update you. I upgraded the, the entire team. Um, we finally got battle armor. We um, took out our Char Charmeleon and we replaced it with Shellgon. So um, moves are better, defense is better, attack is better. And then um, we also, what else did we do? We, Moltres got a brand new move, Burn Up. So that move does three times the power of Sky Attack. And then same thing with Sneasel, we upgraded um, his abilities as well. Um, we are, if you guys are just joining us and you are new, we are on chapter three, we are in the final, on um, the second to last boss. Um, before we get to the last boss on chapter three in the Mount Moon Cave. So we just found Koga, and now we are confronting Koga, and we're going to phase off with him shortly. So, um, so guys, and then we have, right now we have 419 diamonds. I just spent um, a lot of our money on upgrading the armor. We are full stamina, so this episode is going to be strictly gameplay until we, uh, gameplay until we literally get stopped and have to adjust so we should finish up chapter three and uh, go through chapter four um, pretty quick too. So hopefully as well, we, hopefully we can get some, uh, like I said, hopefully we can get some getchas here. And then uh, hopefully we can get some getchas here guys and uh, get a, a new addition to our team as well. Um, I'm you know, definitely gonna get to the point where um, we are going to need re to replace Sneasel and, um, you know, if Salamence doesn't come shortly, we have to evolve our shotgun to Salamence. Then we're going to see what we got to do, too. Um, but let's face Koga, guys, and get this started. Hold on a second. So we're facing Koga right now. Speaking of my strategy, that's the water type Pokemon attack. Keep attacking. And here we go, guys. As you can see, we're a bunch above bunch above him so um, should be pretty good it's usually pretty intense to be honest with you the boss fights so we're gonna take this nice and slow guys as you can see look at that the shell gun the shell gun does that blast man and we're gonna get some going burn up time this is um, Moltres' new move. Oh my. <laughs> Burn up is probably one of my favorite attacks, to be honest with you. Basically puts him in a fire spin and just throws him. Oh my gosh, and there's Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage, no matter what, does a certain amount of damage. So that's why it's very, a very good attack here. So first one up, we're gonna hit it with Ice. Ice Punch. Like I said, guys, we are fighting hard to advance in the storyline. The enemies, like I told you guys, are going to get a lot, a lot harder. Um, so, like I said before, don't be surprised if we're in really intense battles, intense gameplay. Thank you guys so much for all the support as well. Goodness, there we go. I'm going to save... Uh, Save the special attack for uh, the last wave here. Come on. He's got all water type moves. Oh, jeez. He's got all water type moves. Um, so, like I said, we are at a little bit of a disadvantage. So that's why I did get rid... That's why I did get rid of uh, Charmeleon. Because every time I would face him, even on the back end, we would just get absolutely hammered. So, as you can see... Shogun is a freaking beast out here. So now we are going to hit them with a sky attack. First off, off the jump. Boom, boom, boom. And I have it too, just to clean up the gameplay. I noticed it was a little choppy just because there was so much going on at once. Um, I got rid of all of the trainers being 
all the trainers being um, on the ground at the same time, so that's all out, so it'll be much smoother gameplay. So as you can see, we just destroyed him. And we got three stars. Continuing on now, so I'm not here to play games, it's just a warning, but hand over the mount, the moonstone, you can go home and have your dinner otherwise. I normally don't bully brats, but this time. Alrighty. So now, this is the, the final stage. So we do have enough money to upgrade our team. I always go, I always go with the lower guy. As you can come in here, you can just do a quick enhance on everything. You pay 15 Gs, get everything up because it is going to be an absolute fight with him because his team is very good. Um, I forget which Pokemon he has, but. Okay, no Pokeballs ahead of time. And let's go. So we got, we win, we go three on this. If we get three on this, then we will wave out and complete the whole story perfectly. Alrighty, let's get it. Oh my gosh, Lugia. That is wild. Jeez. Yeah, Shogun, Shogun has really sweet attacks. But the Arrow Blast, I've said this before guys, Arrow Blast is an absolute wrecking ball. And he dodged it because he can't get hit with physical attacks because he's flying in the air. That's one thing too. Only special attacks hit people that are flying and whatnot. Um, and if it does hit, it's very low damage. So that was the one time. If, that, if he was on the ground, that would have done about 3,000 damage. See how much it just does nothing if he's, if he's low. Come on, come on, come on, give me a burn up, give me a burn up. That's the one thing I don't like about Starmie, guys. Starmie and Lapras have no attacks. Jeez. That move is absolutely insane. Lapras and Starmie, they only recover. They have no attack. Oh, oh, so what should we do, guys? All right, we'll just do the basic Dragon Rage. All right, just like that. Like I said, lots of gameplay. I made sure, guys, that we would be far above and beyond other players just so we can um, get as much gameplay in as, as we can here. So now too, which is, which is really cool, um, we can also do the Elite Story, which we're not gonna do the Elite Story until we absolutely have to. Basically, I do the Elite Story when I'm stuck on the main story, and then this will just help me get extra progress, and there's um, things called, um, they're like little chewables. <laughs> I know it's weird, but it's like little chew things for your Pokemon. They're called I IQ Stones. So they eat them like they would in the real game, like a potion or ether or whatever. And um, then they get stronger and stronger and stronger, which I, I really like it too. So we just beat Mount Moon, guys. Now we're on chapter four. So we got the main thing here. So now we, honestly, we should have, let me go back quick, we should, yeah, okay. So we're gonna be getting a three-star Pokemon here. It could be any, any Pokemon in the Pokedex um, since we have enough shards and we got Togepi. So obviously not a, a crazy good one. But that just helps add to our Pokedex. Alrighty. We just get some diamonds and whatnot. Alright. Alright, so nothing else that we gotta do. So now we go back to Koga. Now we just be out Koga, so now we gotta go deliver to Misty. So we are up to trainer. We are up to trainer level 30. Now we have the trainer's path. So reaching level, we achieve that. We're up to level 30 now. Oh, we gotta get you. Okay. Hopefully, this is the big moment that we've been waiting for, guys. That we can. Uh... Ah, dang it, Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn is not good. We've already gotten them before. So, all right, guys. So we're gonna move on to the next part of the story. Um, I've already gotten Dark Guy before. Dark Guy is only like elite, elite until um, at like level sixty. So 
I have him at level 60 on my main account. That's the only way he gets really good really fast. Um, so I hope, like I said, we're gonna go to Saffron City. I don't really want to use Dark Eye or Charizard because I already know how they are. All right, nice. So we're making great progress, guys. I'm really enjoying these episodes. If you are new, thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you are, if you are subscribing, if you haven't already, please subscribe, guys. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers um, as quickly as possible, and trying to give you guys content once or twice a day. Yes, once or twice a day. High quality content once or twice a day. So we are going to Missy's home now. We made it out. We actually close. We're actually close to my home. Let's make it up there. Okay. And as we complete these little tasks and quests before we fight in the story, um, we're getting points, diamonds, gold, and then uh, making our Pokemon stronger too. This is my home. Come stay overnight. Wow, it's really big. Your family must be really rich. Hee <laughs> hee, let's go. We'll have a feast tonight. Awesome. I think that from today we have to undergo special training to deal with Team Rocket. I don't think the ones we ran into at Mountain Marine are their top ones. I think they must have trainers that are much stronger. Yeah, they weren't really weren't that strong. Stupid. Let's just go get some sleep. All right. So we're we did, we're about to do number one on the story. All right, guys, let's go. Here we go. And we I want to do the launch first. Jeez. Oh, you missed. All right, good comeback. Still didn't kill him though. All righty, come on. We got three, two, gonna use some Dragon Rage here. Dragon Rage, Dragon Rage is a sweet attack, man. Dang. Moltres, Moltres doesn't even have to be used. Nice. Ooh. I'm using his because he gets multiple targets. Come on. There we go. All right, number three. Come on, number three. Oh. A little freeze ball. If we gotta finish these guys off. Big, oh man, big strike right there from Sneasel. All right, come on, come on, come on. Just like that. I just sped it up just to get it. it wasn't gonna wait for a year. Haha, ha, I slept really well. Hmm, aren't you strong? There's a gym in town. Can you defeat the leader? I'll go and defeat him for sure. I'll go too. Hmm. Let's go. I'll take you there.
Water type gym, let's go in and see. Only the one who can challenge it can feed it. All right, I'm off then. Come on, come on in. Good luck. All righty. Let's keep it rolling. Hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I'm really enjoying them. Like I keep saying, it's just fun for me. I've always wanted to do some just a little bit of gaming stuff. And I'm glad we can just do a little bit here and there. And I'm thankful that we could make it out of an actual episode. Weekly, daily episodes that are, you know, fun. Gives you a little break from the, just the cards. And also, you know, you guys get to see me more. Um, I don't put my face that much on my card videos. Just because I like to make it about the cards. But this is more personable. You know, we get to hang out, play some games together. It's fun. And I'm not using Moltres much. She's just there. She's just there just in case I gotta bring out the heavy guns, the heavy lifting. All right. See you later. See you later, alligator. Now we gotta get some, these cloisters are, have really good defense. Big slash attack here from Sneasel, man. That windback slash is crazy. All right, there we go. Wave three, let's get it. Gyarados. Let me know if you guys want me to get Gyarados in the comments, man. I, I love Gyarados, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Uh, my top five Pokemon would probably be Jolteon, Charizard, Gyarados. Sorry, just focus, focus on the game. And then uh, Zekrom, number four, and Zapdos. So. If I had a team of those, oh my gosh. But I already, I just know Charizard isn't the best and most amazing dominant Pokemon, even though he's the face. Even though he is the face of Pokemon, Charizard. But Zekrom, oh my gosh, I love Zekrom so much. Gee, bye, bye, bye. Um, I've loved them just ever since, you know, obviously most of them were vintage, but, uh, Jolteon's always been one of my favorites uh, of the EV evolutions, the evolutions. Uh, Charizard just because of the, you know, Charizard dominance. The cards are amazing. And then uh, Zekrom just because he's so powerful and uh, looks amazing. Love the black. <laughs> Here we go. We'll just keep going through the story. We're still training to beat the water gym, and well, we just beat the water gym, but we're still training to uh, beat Team Rocket. And this uh, gives you a chance to get to know me a little more um, as we are growing so fast on this channel, and I'm so happy about it over the last three weeks. So hopefully we can continue growing, um, and we can continue growing the Pokemon community, and uh, you know I can keep on bringing you guys daily episodes. Yeah, I mean this slash attack is deadly. I mean, he absolutely wipes, wipes first Pokemon that have not evolved yet. That's why I do like him, just as he does clean up the scraps quickly, and he's very fast. He gets ahead of people. He gets ahead of people before they see, look, see, he just goes right again, knock out. That move too, the Night Slash, it also provides the sword dance effect. So as you can see, he has 
arrows and you know swords around him. So his attack, his attack just went up by a lot. So if I use that attack again, if I use that attack again, he will uh, most likely have a critical hit or something, and I'm waiting to use it. So as you can see, takes off twice the damage on a twice the damage on a bigger bigger opponent, and we're gonna finish him off just because Sneasel's been the MVP of this round so far, and he's gonna finish him off here with a slash. But he missed it again. That's one thing about his attack, though. He misses his his special power attack. Misses a lot more than most. And then Shellgun cleans him up. It's okay, though, but... All right, so we're going for the Lapras here first. Because Lapras... Come on, no, no. Whatever. See, that heal bell is... Uh, it's like, that's all he does. And I try to eliminate him very fast. Crit and dodge, so that move too, which is nice. Um, Ice Shard puts his, takes his critical attack away, critical hit, and then um, his dodge, which means that uh, he cannot, the attacks will not miss. Jeez. See, Weevil too, I, that's why I do want to see him, that's why I do want to see him as a Weevil, because I feel like he's going to get very strong. I mean, he's pretty strong now. All right, let's finish him here. Jeez, Fizzer right there. Big wine back. There we go. Way to hit it. So I'm talking about Sneasel? Get it, baby. Yep, and we're just going to keep training, guys. Like I said, lots of gameplay this episode. Woo! Sneasel! Sneasel is absolutely, absolutely on fire. So usually guys, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday is the days that I'm gonna post gameplay and a card video. So double for you guys. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people on TikTok about the game that are Android users. They are absolutely loving it, they said. And uh, that makes me really happy that I can, you know, find a little sneaky, sneaky game <laughs> that I didn't even, that just popped up on my, uh, Popped up on uh, my radar from one of my friends who played it. I also saw an advertisement for it, but I thought it was fake, but it's not. No, 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 Starmie, you stop right now. Jeez. Sneasel just sliced that Gyarados right up. Nah. Big slash here should take him out one hit. Bop. So when he does kill people with it, I notice too he his uh his uh, stat increase goes up for the rest of the rest of the round. Ugh. Crazy right there. Crazy. <laughs> Let's go. Oof, man. Murder, murder them. All right, we're gonna pop off here quick. Boom, boom, boom. Mm 
All right, awesome. So we're making our way through. All right, guys, just took a little midway break, so let's keep this going. All right, we're gonna go to the sea cottage now. And we are... So this is the elite story that I was talking about. So we would basically essentially start over, but higher difficulty. Just like um, in a Heart Gold and Soul Silver when you went back through the Johto region. Um, Johto and Kanto, that you would basically do the story all over again in a different region. Gonna collect these quick. You know, so it's pretty cool. Um, alrighty. We are still fighting. I love our team so far, guys. Um, let me know who you would want, would love to see on our team. My personal pick would be Zekrom. I absolutely love Zekrom, but here we go. Suicune boss. This one was pretty tough before I learned the trick, which is just killing off the Starmie and, Starmie and uh, Lapras here. Oh. Suicune, I've always loved Suicune too. Not my top five, not my top five favorite Pokemon, but definitely a top choice. There we go. Woo! All right, now I go and do the all out attack. So I'm gonna wait for Burn Up to get there. Burn up. Took off a lot. Come on. Oh no. Yeah, it's got hidden moves too. Which we are gonna get to the point where we do have hidden moves. Ice on my ice on my dragon though is tough. Slash. Alright, sky attack. Let's hit it. Come on. Five thousand. Wow. Okay, now you guys know the drill. If they're knocked down, we hit them with full force. Fifty percent more damage. Come on, come on, come on. Get me up to four. Get me up to four. There's the slash here. Finish them off. Yup. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I love it. All right, shoulders should be no problem. No problem, boom, done. Dragon Rage, just something light. Some la la light. Should be slashing them out right here, next wave. Bah. See ya. See you, sucker. See you, sucker. All right, cloisters. We should hit him. We should do pretty good damage on him. All righty. Hit him with a little uh 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 uh. All righty, sweet. I'm not using my shard. I want to use slash. That's fine. Ooh. I'm gonna hit him with a little. Hit him with a little uh, shell gun, dragon rage. Wow. Wrap him up here. Wrap him up here with a little ice shard. Boom, frozen solid, killed. Wrap it up. Yeah. It's like shell, shell gun and literally sneeze are unstoppable right now. Absolutely unstoppable. I don't even got to use Moltres. Jeez. Dun, 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 dun. 
Come on, man. Change up that target. Give him a little slashy slash after the recover. I knew he was gonna recover. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna send this guy straight down. Boom. Wrapped up. Gotta bring in the heavy hitters. When it's time, you know? We did just complete the stage two for, for Shelgon to evolve as well. I'm pretty sure. So, like I said, after this, after this story, um, oh, after this story too, uh, we're definitely going to uh, try and up, you know, evolve Sneasel and Shelgon to their next forms, their final forms. I don't think Moltres can evolve to a Mega. Um, Good solid attacks, come on. Man, Shogun is, Shogun's the MVP right now. Oof. We'll wrap him up real quick. Shogun should knock them out right here with the Dragon Rage double. Last one here, all cloisters. We are gonna run into some problems. Oh. We are gonna run into some problems shortly because we are going to after this um what's it called after this kind of chapter is when you face the electric types um with lieutenant surge and the zekrom is um absolutely incredible and that's all i'm gonna say i mean he's got a like a blaster cannon attack he's got like a blaster cannon attack that just absolutely wipes your team out. Like, he's gonna take Moltres and destroy him, probably. Mm. Mm. Every time, it's like, ugh. Ugh. All right, let's check and see what we got. So we are moving pretty good, guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six left. So we absolutely should finish this after I just do a little bit of maintenance work here. A little bit of maintenance, gonna check to see our guys. I want, as you can see, 23, 24. Um, the reason why, as you can, okay, so we actually did unlock, we actually did unlock the performance and the IQ. So now we're gonna be able to strengthen these guys even more. So IQ definitely, IQ is definitely the thing that will get your guys up the most. And it says, you know, we're just gonna do a little bit of this real quick, guys, because we're gonna need it. Um, so everyone has their own specific thing, their own specific kind of, you know, IQ tablets that I was telling you guys about. Actually, not gonna do his. I'm more focused on getting the other guys up to Moltres's level. All right, there we go. So we thing just jumped up. Now, like I said, guys, I'm going to check to see what we need to evolve Shellgun. So we have zero, so we're not there yet. All right, so the heart scales, we can get those at the shopping mall. 
I don't know if it was this one that was the blue. Alright, so, yep, we're still not there. So my fault on that, I thought it was the blue, but... I can get his level up here, which I am going to do. Sweet once for the lava cookies. Yep, I still gotta do that. Boom, boom. Alrighty. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we gotta get you. Nice. So, come on, guys. Fingers crossed. We need to get a banger here. Ghastly. Dang it. Gengar. Did some research, dude. Gengar. Typical Gengar. Amazing special attack. Defense is absolute garbage. Oh, got another one. Defense is absolute garbage, so. Not going to invest my time and effort in Gengar. Weedle. Let's get another one, guys. Two star. <laughs> No luck. There's no luck for us with the getches. All right. So let's get back into the story. We are doing awesome, guys. We are three stars the whole time. Three stars the whole time, like usual. I did go back through the other stories, and there was like two that we got two stars on that I had to do again. Um, just to get the three star and get the full, you know, um, achievement for the for the level. Alrighty. Ooh, hello. Ba 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 bye bye. Wrap them up. Ice Shard's good, um, doesn't do the most damage in the entire world, but it is good because it um, lowers the special, lower special defense increases your special defense and takes away their ability to dodge because of the frozen, um, just the frozen attribute of the move. See, there we go. And it's like 100% accuracy. See, like his, his claw attack isn't 100% accurate. But I mean, when that thing hits, that thing hits. And I'm gonna hit him with shell gun special because it's multiple. All theirs are just singles. And Sneasel too, back to back attacks. So if I ever know I'm gonna get a back to back, I do I do the ice shard and then immediately a slash. Immediate. Jeez, they look at that, they froze Sneasel. They ain't gonna play me like that. Dragon Rage, just something light. Blastoise, Lapras, and Poliwhirl. Jeez, man. And two, I noticed there is, I do have, uh, what is it? Um, I noticed too, it says uh, that the ability for that slash move, uh, water type, it affects water type more um, by like 10%. So when it does hit a critical or something like that, it increases damage by up to 10% depending on um,
There we go. Yep, we're just moving through, guys. Moving through. Okay, we're gonna start off with a little dragon rage. Woo! See, Moltres has Roost, which is good. Roost just, you know, increases their HP. It's like the Lapras, but it doesn't do it for the whole team. Just doesn't do it for, just does it for himself. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Do not do a focus punch. Focus punch on uh please. Dun, dun, dun. For real? Finish him up, please, with the little, with the little ice beam. Next. Whoa. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. <laughs> Hitting him with these because he's done. Straight off is not come out next round. Yep, next round. Next round. Some light. Something la 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 light. Come on. Come on, we got 30 seconds. Dun, dun. And two, it does take longer when you do physical attacks. When you have people who just do physical attacks, like we have. I'm going to do a dragon. Probably going to get two stars on this, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, unless a miracle happens, I don't know. That's okay. Can happen sometimes guys um sometimes they don't get you know you don't get a lot of criticals or they use defensive moves or whatever so let's just check where we're at so we got one one two three four left and they are getting harder boom, boom. Absolutely getting harder, so yeah. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. Jeez. He just tossed. Tossed him. Boom, 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 boom. Sometimes I will speed up the gameplay just to, you know, if we are in a little spot, just so we can get some moves quicker. Dun, 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 dun. And you can see too, um, the people are getting better defensively. Uh, they're getting more, they're getting smarter, IQ's getting higher. That's why I like this game, because, I mean, in, you know, in battle and stuff, like in the Nintendo games, yeah, that, to me, those games are absolutely amazing. Nothing's ever going to beat those games, but um, I feel like there's a lot, this is a lot more strategy, just because 
even though we are doing story, um, the AI on these people is much smarter to me than the AI um, when you're playing against a computer on the Nintendo. Oh, Sneasel just died. Like I said, guys, it's getting a little tougher. I mean, electric, I noticed too in that environment, also the environment that you're in matters. So if they do an electric type attack here in the water, um, like it does, it does more damage because you're in the water and it like electrocutes the Pokemon. If that's their, if that's their like super effective type. Come on. Definitely gonna have to hit a roost here. Load that up. And there are moves that they do load up on, load up on the ROM. So what that means is that, like it loads up, doesn't take any energy out. So for the next move, he can absolutely use roost. So as you can see right there, use roost. Get, I love it, we're getting tougher now. I love the tougher battles. So you guys can uh, you guys can see you know it actually isn't as always easy you know which is good too it's not the easiest in the world all the time. Oh my gosh! Ooh, got by that one. Definitely gonna have to upgrade our team a little now. But I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna do that off camera real quick and then we will come back right back. All right guys, we are back in action and um, we just basically, I did a bunch of quests um, and then got our trainer level up and improved our Pokemon with our armor and all that stuff and we're ready to finish off the last story. We got one, two, three left here. So let's get it. It's gonna be some fights to end this episode, guys. Some big time fights. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Boss Zapdos. Zapdos, guys. Gotta get this one. We need this one to... Uh, we need to get three stars on this one to um, be able to... Level up uh, Weevil and Shelgon. Oh, man. All right. Now, time to do all physical attacks. Physical attacks on Zapdos. Pack that last attack in. Come on. All right. Big attack. Oh, we didn't knock him down. Crap. Didn't freeze him either. Come on, don't die, don't die, don't die. Stay up, stay up. Oh, we knocked him down, let's go. There we go, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we gotta get a big sky attack. Burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up, burn up please. Jeez. Come on, stay up, stay up. Yeah. No. Come on, fight, you gotta fight, gotta fight. Man, and we just beat him too. 
Jeez. <laughs> See that red berry is what we need. Sizzle, sizzle. Are you afraid you want to come with me? Alrighty, guys. We're just delivering the lost Pokemon to Ash here. And now we are going to be moving on from the Sea Cottage to the SSAN. And uh, we're going to be fighting Lieutenant Surge all the way through in Team Rocket. All right, so we're on the last one here. We also need this one for uh, to level up. Not just to get the friendship up, but to level up. So we've gotta get, this would be huge to get three stars on this bad boy. It is a boss battle. It should be a boss battle again. Just kidding. Oh man, these three star, these three wave battles take forever. Dun, dun. All right. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I just healed up. Had to heal up Moltres before uh, the next wave. Bye-bye. All right, so we, uh, Sneasel's attack and all that just went up like it would if, like it would if it was using Sword Dance. Come on. We should clean them up right here. There we go. Tough, man. Tough. Cloyster. Dang, if he wouldn't have went, we would have just beat it in three. Beat it under three. That's crazy. Now we're chasing after Lieutenant Surge and Team Rocket. We got one more, guys. One more. Here we go, guys. This is a tough one, so whew, hopefully we can get it. We gotta have some good strategy and get it going.
There we go. Mm -hmm. Man, you people are pretty, you guys are tough. Come on, baby, let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Hit him with a little dragon rage. Right, took down Blastoise, hit him with a little dragon rage again. That move is sweet. Alright, Polyworld's done. Finish them off here. All right, done. I'll go back through on my own time and get three stars on these, just so we can keep moving along. All right, Maltrace, do your thing. Just do your thing. Oh, that star you just got jacked up. Jacked up. There it is, wrap it up. Alright guys, we cleared the we cleared chapter four of the sea cottage. Now we can't claim anything. I'll go back in and get a get three stars on them. Dun, 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 dun. But, all right guys, that's gonna wrap up today's episode. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Glad we could get in some really solid gameplay um, and you guys could kind of, you know, not see the back end stuff as much, but see, you know, just some really intense Pokemon uh, action. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in the episode. This one was episode number four. Um, and I hope you guys come back for episode number five. Episode number five be dropping on Thursday. So be ready for that. And I will see you guys in the next one.